I think the most charitable narrative I heard was, listen, right now, we don't have a scheme problem. We have a culture problem. And Jeff Saturday was here for more than a decade, won a Super Bowl. He was Peyton Manning's favorite center, as far as we know, like, whatever. And he said, yes, I understand he maybe lacks the coaching, you know, uh, curriculum vitae. However, dude, he knows people and he knows this organization. We're going to get him in and he's going to be like the CEO. When you heard this, what was the first thing that jumped out to you in terms of like leadership that why this probably wasn't going to go well? Two things hit me pretty instantly. First was the level of disrespect felt by the assistant coaches, yes. the coordinators, anybody else in the coaching profession to say, you know what, you guys have put in the time, you've been through training camps, you've been through two-a-days, you've been through all these tough losses. Um, I think I'm going to go with somebody who's never done any of that. <laughs> right. Um, and that none of y'all have ever seen or met before because most of y'all probably weren't on the staff when he was playing on this team. Um, that's, that's what hit me first. And then two was kind of the, uh, uh, the narrative around Jim Ursay um, – and whether it's the arrogance, the hubris, or uh, or just whatever it was that made him think that yeah, I, I can I can make this move and everybody's gonna think this is great. 